Okay, I'm going to walk you through how to add RxCotlin to IntelliJ IDEA and Android Studio projects using Gradle, and then also create a project in IntelliJ IDEA in which you can add RxCotlin code. All the IntelliJ IDEA and Android Studio projects in this course have already been set up this way for you. This is just so you know how to do it on your own later. Okay, so starting out in IntelliJ IDEA, select Create New Project from the Welcome to IntelliJ IDEA window. Choose Gradle as the project type and uncheck Java and check the Kotlin JVM box in the Additional Libraries and Frameworks list. Also, you want to make sure that you have an available Java 8 SDK version selected as the project SDK. If not, you may need to install the Java 8 SDK on your development machine before proceeding. Then hit Next. Set the group ID to something like Hello Rx Kotlin and use a similar value for the artifact ID. Then hit Next. You can leave the defaults on the next screen, although you do again want to make sure the Gradle JVM matches your installed version of the Java SDK. And then hit Next. Now choose a project location, and then hit Finish. So now a Gradle build sync will then run. When the sync is complete, expand the source main folder and right click on the Kotlin folder and choose new Kotlin file class. Name the file main and hit OK. Next, go ahead and add a simple main function to the file. Click the play button next to the main function and choose run main KT. The project will build and then the run console should appear. Seeing the expected output shows that your project is set up correctly to run. To add the RX Kotlin dependency to the project, open the build.gradle file for the project. This one line pulls in both Rx Kotlin and Rx Java into your project. In an Android Studio project, you'll need to have a second line to pull in Rx Android. All the starter and final projects in the course have been configured with Rx Kotlin and Rx Java, and also Rx Android for Android projects. Go ahead and hit Import Changes on the pop up to sync the Gradle build files. OK, great. So now we're going to Rxify the main function. Replace the print line statement with the following code. You may need to manually pull in the observable import. You can hit Option Return on Mac or Alt Enter on PC to see the options. Be sure to choose the io.reactivex version of the observable class. If you run into trouble with Observable in later videos, first make sure that this is the version of the class that you've imported. If you run the code now, you'd see nothing happen. You've created an Observable with a single string, but an Observable will not do anything until someone subscribes to it. So on the next line, add the following code. This code subscribes to your observable, and in the subscription, prints out the value coming from the observable sequence. Run the code again, and you'll see the Hello Rx Kotlin string printout. OK, so now you have a project ready to use with Rx Kotlin. Again, all this will be set up for you for IntelliJ IDEA and Android Studio projects in this course. You'll just need to make sure you're using the right Rx Java and Rx Kotlin imports as part of troubleshooting any issues you may run into. Next up, it's time to roll up your sleeves and get some more hands-on with the bread and butter of Rx Kotlin, creating and subscribing to observables.